crowning glory, a term that immediately brings about the image of a lush and full head of hair. Like all animals, in human beings too, the health of a person can easily be recognized by the hair on his head. But besides the health, hair also has become an integral part of our daily life. A well-groomed person is more of a mandate than an option in society today. Hair care has gone way beyond the occasional head oil massage or application of henna in the hair. Today a hairstylist has to cater to customization. The spending power of people has increased and they have become more discerning and demanding today. Everybody wants a style that is designed to go for them or customized to their face. Over the last decade, India has seen substantial growth in the cosmetology industry. Salons and parlors have multiplied at an accelerated pace. International brands of hair products like L'Oreal etc have become household names in almost all towns and cities of India. The industry is growing at a significant 25% a year. As the industry is gaining ground, so is there a greater demand for trained professionals and many young people are seriously getting into the hairstyling business. A hairstylist is one who knows how to cut, color and style all types of hair as well as do straightening, permanent waves, curling, weaves, extensions and other hair services. Hairstylists need to have a professional attitude, time management, communication, work under stress, critical thinking, hand-eye coordination, hygienic, endurance, precision, attention to detail, punctual, knowledge of latest fashion, creativity and imagination. Together with great technical skill including commercial and artistic applications. If you know the correct way and how to do it, definitely you have more confidence than the others who are around who are doing a hit and miss. The other is that in this beauty profession, you definitely have to know everything about, because we are dealing with people, you know, so we definitely have to know about their bodies, about the hair texture, about the skin, about what a certain chemical does on the skin, what a certain product would do on a skin. There is nothing hit and miss about this. And definitely those that have a proper education and a proper skilling education, I should say, they do a far better job and they, of course, get names for themselves and are able to earn more than those who are just not so well skilled and those who are maybe medium skilled. Most of the job prospects are with hairdressing salons, fashion houses and hair product brands. One can also start their own business or freelance in the fashion world. Expertise, skill, reputation and experience are important in this field. Tips are a huge incentive in this profession. In this trade, the tools of the trade are a free-for-all. These are things available in the supermarket. The key then becomes the application. And that is all about the individual's skills. The ability to take the mundane and the commonplace and to create a work of art. These people like to call themselves beyond hairstylists. They call themselves artists. Though India still boasts of the nai cutting hair under a tree, Yet times have changed and the changing time wants changes at a fast pace. The look has become global and therefore the skills has to match the asked for. What the average Indian stylist needs is exposure, the ability to see what the world is doing, understanding how to work with the same palettes and create a masterpiece. This exposure is brought to them by the National Skills Development Corporation or NSTC through the global skilling competition World Skills. The World Skills competition is the flagship event of World Skills International, a membership organization made up of 65 countries and regions to promote skilling amongst the youth of the world. World Skills International is growing rapidly and its members now represent over 70% of the world population. In 2013, WorldSkills was held in the beautiful German town of Leipzig, 
where Team India participated in 22 skills with skills ranging from cooking, confectionery, beauty therapy, CNC milling, jewelry making, robotics, mechatronics, fashion, graphic designing, etc. In India, World Skills is represented by World Skills India that hold regional and national competitions to identify and hone the skills of the Indian youth and get them prepared to take on the world in the World Skills competition that is held biannually. In the ladies and men's hairdressing, India was represented by Sonal Chauhan, a trained hairstylist from Mumbai who had won the regional competitions to qualify for the final at Leipzig in 2013 supported by her mentor Ms. Asha Harihar. At the World Skills, a competitor is judged on planning and creativity, organization and time management, hair analysis, efficient working methods, sanitation, occupational health and safety, hair cutting, all aspects and techniques, hair coloring, permanent wave, hair styling, beard design, addition of hair, India may have come in the world skills arena as a late entrant and we have a lot to learn from countries that have been participating for the past many decades. But we are very sure that we will cover this distance between skill and world skills in rapid giant strides.